while we're back. And this is from Milwaukee and Nashville. You're and right. I'm Daniel. And I'm Matt. Well, we're here to talk about fighting. The good old fisticuffs. Fighting in hockey. Um, one of the things about fighting in hockey, if it goes, we're no different than any other sport. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Right. But let's talk about what made us come here. What made us come here is an incident between the uh, Hershey Bears and Charlotte Checkers where um, one person got, uh, they, I believe they removed the buckets. Yep, uh, Kale Casey and uh, uh, Derek Shepard. Derek Shepard, yep. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now, remind you, this is 30-second fair use. Should fights under 30 seconds. Yep. Take a look. Whoa, that's trippy. It is trippy. I don't even know what happened. All right. Just bear with us, everybody. So, yeah, they removed the bucket. Very good. Oh, yeah, he's out. Yeah, they even cut. They even cut right there. Like, that. Like, all right. So, now after seeing that, because I was seeing a lot of criticism on, uh, on Shepard for, like, oh, he's calling for the crash cart. I'm like, well, why wouldn't you? Here's the thing. If it weren't for the second punch connecting, yes, this wouldn't be. It wouldn't happen. No. But how much you want to bet? He didn't think he was going to hit it. He wasn't out. Yeah. And you kind of can't know that. Mm-hmm. If he was out cold, and he was going to hit that hard anyways. Right. Matter of fact, probably harder. Mm-hmm. Because that second blow actually probably bounced him. Mm-hmm. Which probably protected him a little more. Like. I could, like, going back to the whole crash cart thing, like, everybody assumes that when you get into a fight that it's purely out of hate, when really it's, like, to me, a hockey fight, like, this is purely as a spectator. It's a situation by situation. Yes. Like, uh, some of the times it could be a dirty hit. Yep. Uh, it could be purely momentum. Yeah. Just like, like we, we, need to, we need to jazz up our team, we need to jazz up the fans. We need a spark somehow, and a fight is a perfect way to do it because it gets the fans going. It gets, if you win it, it gets the team going. Yep. It, it, it creates momentum. It's a part of this game that creates momentum. So there's a lot. There was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people basically going against fighting again, and uh, like saying like it's not essential to the game at all. It's not essential to the to the, the team building ethic. I know you have something to say on it. Because you were in the, you were involved in the game. I, I played. I was a goalie. Yep. If a guy took a slash at me and one of my defensemen didn't do something about it, I did. Yep. And that's the thing. If you, if the referees don't catch it. You, okay. How do I put it this way? How about I put it this way? Okay. Vigilantes are basically police without a badge. Yep. Okay. So. They police vigilantes that okay, Batman. Yeah, Batman's right. a vigilante. He is a policeman without a badge. He polices the city of Ar of Ar of Gotham, Gotham without without a badge. Pretty much like fighting does in hockey. Right. Uh, fighting in hockey polices the game and keeps the game honest. Yep. I also think that it uh like if players have like uh issues on the ice, it gets that out right away. You don't harbinge uh ill ill thoughts or ill wishes on, on players are like hitting harder than you should be to where you get like uh, we just talked about it in the AHL today like some illegal checking to the head like getting it out in a fight gets that gets usually that anger out gets the frustration out and, and it, it's called a receipt yeah and what after a fight what is it usually being or between both teams this your square yeah it should be that it's a receipt when you get a receipt in hockey it normally will give you the uh the uh, fairness of, of all of that. Right. Uh, uh, hockey's a fair game, unlike some sports. And as you said, like with uh, 
like because like you and I know bad officiating as it is as we see it almost on a weekly basis um, even th- tonight at point like especially like in the case of like I think it's a good time to talk about the the Troy Grossnick fight uh, the Troy Grossnick and uh, what's his first name Tompkins um, Matt Matt Tompkins uh, Matt Tompkins wanted out of the game Troy obliged and Troy obliged Matt Tompkins was basically being kept out on the ice by by his coach and uh, he was getting shelled and getting shelled in our game because Rockford like not to speak ill of Rockford but they are not exactly having a good season because they're not they're, having the worst they're, they're not they're having not the having... worst but they could be like they, 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 they as any team does they want to have a good season. Yeah, and we don't blame their fans. No. Matter of fact, I've never had a bad interaction with any of their fans. No. They may hate me sometimes. I may not care for their Blackhawks, but I don't hate Rockford. No. But, um, no, like, again, there's a, there's also, like, like we just said, there's that mutual understanding to engage a fight if it means that your coach is not doing anything or if someone's not doing anything or they're just leaving you up to hang to dry. Troy basically took a bullet for the team, too. He basically said, like, because he knew that Connor Ingram would take up after him. Connor's a he has goalie. faith in Connor, yes. and they're good friends. Yes, you, we've seen the back and forth between them in games, and and and, and they're two. Was it uh, two ninety percentile goalies? Yeah. Plus yeah. Uh, one nine twenty eight and nine twenty one. Yeah, they're pretty neck and neck. Yeah. So. So, yeah. And again, proving again that a fight means something to the teams. Because believe it or not, when that fight happened, mm-hmm. that actually woke up Rockford. It woke up Rockford. It woke, like my favorite thing is like when it comes down to a goalie fight, everybody looks, everybody watches. Like uh, uh, my favorite is Darren Hadar's comment. He goes, um, "Hat trick goalie fight." I don't think I'd ever seen the same both in the same night. Yeah. It was one of those things that he said in a report. And on his weekend. Yeah. Because uh, if, for our Florida fans and our uh, our national fans that weren't aware, uh, Darren Hadar was uh, retired in the rafters of uh, UWM, Matt, uh, UWM Panther Arena. And uh, his number 20. Yes. So number 20 and Hadar were up in the rafters. And uh, we got to wear our Calder Cup jerseys or his season jersey. In uh, for over the course of two nights, yes, and uh, basically like it was his weekend. It was the salute to Darren for Friday and Saturday for the Calder Cup, two Calder Cup visits he gave us, and he said that he. It's funny because if you could go to the Admirals page and watch their little video behind the scenes, it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, so um, he's he's a pretty good guy. Um, but like we were saying about fighting in hockey. Mm-hmm. It's the only game where fighting police is the game. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. If you don't keep a guy honest, he's not going to play you honest. No. And and that's the part. If you look tonight and see how Calgary played Nashville, they played them dirty. They played them dirty and Nashville knew it was coming. Yeah. Like, and that's why we only had, uh, what is it, we only had an offsetting minor. Yeah. Which means nothing. Yeah. Matter of fact, we scored on that offsetting minor. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. So Does that technically count as a power play. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, like like we're saying, we just care more for the game and yeah. the integrity of it. Because it's stuff like that that also, like we even said, it electrifies a game. It keeps it it, it gets your it gets your blood pumping. Here, here, let's put it this way. What happens if we take hockey fighting out of hockey? What happens to the attendance? Drops. How much? Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yeah. Or even what? like, what happens when you take checking out of hockey? Oh, nobody will go. Exactly. I wouldn't go. And again, it's a full contact sport. That's the Here's thing. the thing. As as far as we, as far as me and him, I'm not gonna speak for Chris or the other Matt, yeah. who was on our, our show or the other day for our arena arena editorial, which you can see also here on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we wanna we wanna talk and feel like it. We wanna go see something we're gonna enjoy, not see something. And, and if that means we're getting beat for nothing and our guys aren't dropping the gloves, if you I've always gone by the phrase, if you can't beat them, beat them. Yeah. 
beat them, drop them. And that's the yep. thing. Like, if you can't beat them on the scoreboard, beat them physically. Yeah. Because you never harder. know what could happen if you start beating them physically. Yeah, make the hits harder. Engage in a fight. Yeah. I still remember, like, what is it, um, when Scott Darling was our goaltender, not to bring up another goalie fight, but uh, we were getting uh, shelled in uh, the late Or uh, how about we talk about Rob Flick getting beat up by a goalie? Which it caused a bench clearing brawl. Nobody was hurt except for a broken hand, which happens in fighting yeah. in any combat sport. By the way, hockey does have combat in it. Yeah. Has since day one. By the way, if you don't know, go check out Maurice Richard. He's the only guy to ever punch a ref. And then go buy him a six pack of beer and go, okay, sorry, we're even. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he was suspended for a whole season and took it and said, okay, but that six pack of beer was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's just one of those things where the game, if you, if the refs aren't policing it properly, it can get out of hand. Yeah, because the players will take it into their own hands. Exactly. That's and this and this is the thing, you're playing with somebody else's life every time you drop the gloves. Yep. I'm not saying all players will do that because there are players that will play will will just skate away with it, but they'll they'll show their frustration with it. But there are going to be members on that team that will do it. They will put the mask on, they will you know, go above and beyond to, you know, protect their team. At least, like, with Nashville, you got uh, Ham Hughes and, and, and uh, uh, now... Uh, Tenorti. Tenorti and, uh, uh, what is that, uh, Corbinian Holzer. Blackwell's kind of one, too. Blackwell can get scrappy. Gr- Grimaldi can get yep. scrappy. Uh, but he's more of a four-checking kind of scrappy. Forsberg's kind of scrappy sometimes. Yep, he'll get a little physical with you. Honestly, Watson's any... the big yeah. one. Watson will throw with Watson. with Watson. Watson will throw. Yeah. And and that's the thing. Like here in Milwaukee, we've got who's that? Uh, Harper. We've got Cranks. We've we got, got uh, Big Mac McCarron. We've got McCarron. We've got uh, Olivier. Olivier. We've got Troy Grosnick. Uh, <laughs> Tanner Janot. We have Janot. We have Rashard will throw them. Yeah. I think, honestly, that's one of the reasons why you have these, uh, like, not that I don't think the Admirals encourage uh like the you know going black and blue hockey on this but that's what makes them more dominant up in nashville is that they're like they don't take hits they give them yeah like if you look yakov trenin can go yes <laughs> yakov trenin taking on who i don't know some guy who's going to be in the hockey hall for being one of the tallest hockey players to play into his 40s total redwood <laughs> but yeah oh by the way would you care to elaborate what we mean by that i mean meaning <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, six foot nine Zdeno Chara and almost making him go. Yeah, it was again. And and, and Trenton did hold him up. He mm-hmm. held him up. He showed him respect. Yep. Hockey fighting. If you ever notice, if you watch a good bout, mm-hmm. both guys will give each other one the of the shoulder tap. Yep. Or, or a little, sides, or a little, <laughs> or even also, especially both sides of the bench giving stick taps. Yeah, both sides of the bench. It's not, and it's not always the road. Was it the opposing team saluting? Was it saluting their players? They're saluting the other player as well. Yeah, because they they squash their beef. Yeah, they squash the beef, or they did exactly what they needed to. I've I've out. noticed this year, Shine and uh, and uh, Janelle have uh, unsettled business. <laughs> yeah, they all, <laughs> that's there's perfectly a good explanation for that, but uh. Yeah, uh, from Shine's side of it. <laughs> but the etiquette, like, the, to, uh, to get some other some fans to understand, the etiquette is you don't want them to end up in a bag at no. the end of it. That's why you had uh, Derek Shepard at the end of this calling for the crash cart, calling for the guy right away. Okay, let me tell you this way. Guy gets checked into the boards. Mm-hmm. Guy goes down. He's hurt. What's the first thing you see from the player hitting him or the other guy? Either that or, what is it, the... Was yeah. Across the arms. Yeah. Yep. Somebody. Anybody. Help. Any. Out. Any. Any player should be doing that. The any other thing. Player. The other thing. It did not show it in the video. But the one thing I did like about the referee. The referees are actually trained in CPR. Yes. Um, the all all AHL and NHL referees are trained in CPR. I don't know about the ECHL, but I do know about the AHL. I do know about the NHL, and I know about high school hockey. Yeah. High school hockey as well, because I played high school well, hockey. It's... NCAA as well, because the, I. Have yeah. a little foray in that. Well, it's it's just incredible too because this year we had a lot of incidents on the ice. Uh, what was that the Blues game this year? 
uh, heart was it a heart attack? Yeah, um, we had uh, Ellis. Yeah, concussion. Ellis had a concussion, uh, which that's concussions oh, are scary. Um, uh, Arvidsson getting cross checked head first into the post. Yeah, now we, Nashville's had some beatings this yeah. year. Um, but you know the heart attack on the bench. Um, it kind of reminded me of Rich Peverly, yeah, when uh, former Dallas. admiral um, from Dallas, and uh, he had a heart attack on the bench. They brought him back, took him to the locker room. Uh, they said you gotta go to the hospital. He goes, but I want to play. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I want to play, and it would have killed him. Yeah. So good thing there's protocols in place for these things. There's always a protocol, and mm -hmm. and half the time the players make sure that that protocol is activated. What the players know the protocol. Yeah. They, whether it be the home player or the road player, they all have the same protocol. It's if somebody's hurt, you make sure that that they're, they're taken care of. That and there's just a, good, a set code of conduct and uh, what what it is to be a player too. What you can do, what you you might do. unwritten rules. No, yeah, there are unwritten rules, like the, the way of hockey as is. Yeah, it's like, the, uh, it, and for some of us like us, hockey is a way of life. Yeah, here's the thing: if somebody made us angry. And I'm going to tell you this. If somebody made me angry and, and pushed me mm -hmm. to a point and kept pushing me, mm -hmm. I'm going to drop the gloves mm -hmm. and I'm going to fight as a man. Because here's the thing. If you're saying you're better than me, you're chipping at me or chirping, chirping, mm -hmm. which is what chirping. we call. Yep. We call. They do a lot of that. We see a lot of that. Instigating. Yeah. And that's part of the sport. Mm -hmm. It's what men do. We chirp at each other as friends. Mm -hmm. Our friends say worse shit that, to us than our enemies, and I'm sorry for my language, but it's true. You know, I, I mean, as running jokes, we talk about me going bald, his foot being him being gimpy. Yeah, yeah. to my and, good old ankle. And and Chris looking like one of the monsters. <laughs> that does look like Fred Gwynn. <laughs> you know, it's just a running joke. You make jokes. It's friendship. It's what you do. You know what's wrong with a little good-natured ribbing? Yeah, I mean, in high school, that's what we did in our downtime for fun. And, and like, okay, when I say good-natured ribbing, when it comes to hockey, that is good-natured ribbing. That is. Oh, your mother couldn't stop beach ball. <laughs> or you <laughs> couldn't stop you beach couldn't ball. Couldn't even stop beach ball. Yeah. Cause beach ball bigger than puck. Just um, watch Goon and Goon. you'll understand. In fact, I even encourage people to watch Goon just for, you know, the, like, yeah, it covers the whole, like, what it is means to be an enforcer, but it's the spirit or of the Or watch team. the movie Enforcer. It's on yeah. Netflix. Yeah, you're right. Watch Enforcer. It's on Netflix. Goon's on Netflix, too. Yeah, you can watch them both. You'll learn a lot more about fighting in hockey than you would yeah. ever learn. Learning the importance of why you should never walk on the logo at uh, in your locker room. You, or anywhere, for that matter. If you see, if like any, I like that's the one thing at the admiral's office. There's the logo. They have the logo carpet. I'm always trying to step over it. Oh, did you <laughs> did you ever see the uh, the uh, uh, the dog video? No. The dog stepped on the logo like ten times. Charlie, get on that. <laughs> that dog goes. That dog goes uh, some milk bones. <laughs> right. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, dog goes milk bones. And no, your dog gets milk bones because I don't know whose dog that was. Oh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't Bender. No, because Bender came on later this year. He's only a puppy. Oh, yeah, it's... that's true. Oh, is this the one from the where they did the the announce the? Yeah, they yeah. announced the schedule. So someone, did we get cursed in the in the preseason? <laughs> in the off season, we were cursed, and and it lasted for a whopping two games, and then we went on a fifteen game tear. We're just ribbon about that. We're ribbon about the about having the dog on there. But no, like the, the these two movies also show the importance of like team ethic too. Like, yeah, you can rib on your teammates, but if you're constantly doing it, it, it affects your team or anything like that. Or like my favorite is in Goon is the what is it? Uh, Xavier Leflem uh, is uh, he spits on the on the the Halifax logo. And uh, Sean William Scott's uh, Doug Glatt gets down on his knees and literally wipes it off. And, like, someone's like, oh, it's not a big deal. I'm like, no, that is a big deal. Like, I know we're talking, uh, we're, this is a video on uh, on fighting, okay, but it's you all see about. This? Yeah. Right here? You, you mess with our logo, we're going to do the same, the best we can to keep it clean. Yeah. 
We, we that's why we have PR people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you don't walk on the logo. But again, like again, unwritten rules. Like I like in the beginning where everybody's walking on the logo at first. They don't care, and then you just see Doug. Well, Doug skates. He blatantly steps aside and walks past it. And then by the end of the movie, they're all walking around the logo, which again. There's respect in the sport too. There was respect in that fight between Hershey and Ch and Charlotte because if not, he would have just skated off. He would have just skated off and left him there, but he didn't. That's honor. That's respect for your opponent, and, and that's, that's care for your opponent. And it's the code of conduct, and, uh, and, and not to steal from the Mandalorian, but this is the way. It is. It, it can be said better. That is the way, because. Nobody wants to go see someone go down like that. Nobody. And here's the thing: when, when here's the thing. Ask any guy who's had a friend a fight, a fist fight with his friends. Mm -hmm. Ask him. Ask him how it ended. Mm -hmm. Just do it because they'll tell you, the first guy to go down. The guy to go down, before he's even back up, his friends there with a shot of tequila and some ice and going, use it how you want it. <laughs> And and you know this as a man. Yes. It's just the way of... Uh, I mean, we're from Wisconsin, so that's our way of dealing with it. Mm -hmm. But ask any guy, and he'll tell you a similar story. Yeah. It really is. I've done this for friends. I've yeah. had my interactions. It's not the best look for me, but, you know, I'm... Not even as a goalie. Like, just as a, just as a, as a person. Yeah. Like, as a person, if you're acting out of line, I'm going to put you in the line you should be in, especially if you're, say, in my home or you're on our podcast and you step out of line, you know, and we're going to put you back where you need to be. You're going to put me in the closet again, aren't you? No. It's getting cramped in there. Uh, I'm sorry. I had... I, All I, those bobbleheads. But see, I'm <laughs> letting you out now. You get to stay out and go home and... We get to keep James locked I mean, in there. That's, <laughs> that's, that's well, yeah, James King's locked in there. Um, yeah, with R. Kelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If but, you see this, I don't care. Yeah, but um, no, but yeah. Th again, there's a reason why hockey was it hockey has fighting. There's a reason why fighting should stay in hockey. I don't want it to come out of it. You like again to compare it to another sport. That's essentially taking tackling out of football. Yeah, take tackling out of football. Take uh, free throws out of basketball. You get nothing. Take dunks, for it. Taking dunks out of basketball. Yeah, take dunks out of basketball. Uh, um, you know, take a uh, 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 bunting or or base hits out of baseball. Yeah. you can't get a base hit. You have to get taking, a double or a taking, triple. Yeah, taking sacrifices out of baseball. Yeah. Just, again, like, there's reasons why you do it. Yeah. Taking, taking it for the team, literally. Yeah. I mean, there's there's times where players, and here's the thing, this doesn't happen all that often. No. This was a, an odd circumstance. Both had their helmets off, which that means. That's why it's a two-minute penalty for removing it. Yep. They both knew the risk. Mm -hmm. Which I believe, if I remember correctly, they both served or someone served for uh, Kale Kessy as he was uh, he left the game. But again, still served, which is he, why he and, they, and this is the thing. He's such a team mate, he told his team to go win the game. And what did they do? They went and won the game. They Not only did they win the game. They dominated they the game. They dominated the game for like, what, 6-2? to two? Yeah. Yeah. Fighting has no place in hockey. Fight, yes. Back to the momentum. That. Back to the momentum thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. At the time, Charlotte, what, up to nothing? They were up to nothing, yeah. You rallied the troops for six goals. Yeah, it may, yeah, the rally may not have gone according to plan, but, you know, you striking the ice. But even in that case, like, I don't know, part of me thinks that that, like, him going off the way he did and then basically relaying the message win. Like, stronger message. Yeah, more momentum. More momentum. Do it for your fallen teammate. Let's put it this way. Nashville, what, 2016? Yep. Uh, Mike Fisher, Kevin Fiala, mm -hmm. injured. Yep. Missed the playoff. Missed the rest of the Stanley Cup. Message, win it. Get to it. 
the drag comes in. The thing is, it's like going into a combat zone. When you go into a combat zone and you, you go to war, because in the playoffs it's a war, mm -hmm. the hardest thing in the world to win is a hockey playoff series. Yeah. Seven games, same opponent. Black and blue hockey. Let me ask any player who ever played at the end of the season or at the end of a playoff run if he has if if he doesn't have bruises, and then each and every one of them will tell you they have at least one, mm -hmm. at least one, and that's including the goaltending. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Because I'll tell you right now, if they're getting shelled, that goalie's going to be angry. I've watched Peck snap sticks on goalie posts. I, I've seen the gif of him whacking at it like a tree. And trust me, as a fan. I'd like to see Pekka fight one day. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta at least get one before he hangs it up. He already got the goal. He don't. Need, he needs the fight. <laughs> get the Gordy Howe. Get the Gordy Howe on the season. Doesn't matter which. Yeah. Get the Gordy Howe on the season. Next time you get shelled, just go. Yep. Let's go. Like if we have a sizable lead, if we're like say we're in the Stanley Cup. And we're in the playoffs, like, and like we have a sizable lead. Just let Peck skate out. Hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You want a good definition of things not to do? Mm -hmm. Go look up the Todd Bertuzzi incident with Colorado. Yep. You want, that's a not to do. And you know what happened to Todd Bertuzzi after that? He was targeted by every team in the NHL, just like right now the Houston Astros are being targeted by every team in the Major League Baseball, they and, at, and every pitcher is throwing at their players. They don't even care if you were serving on that team. He, or the Was it the team in question that stole the, yeah. the World Series with the sign stealing? They don't care. As long as you wear the, the but, Strohs logo. And, and, and here's the thing. As fans, that's the one thing we will tell you. I was raised, I don't know about you, but I was mm -hmm. raised this way. When you look at a team, I'm a Brewer fan. Hate Cubs, hate the Cubs. Yep. Hate the Wolves. Yep. Hate the Blackhawks. Yep. Don't hate the players. Nope. Select players. I might hate the ownership. I might hate the, was it the organization? That does, I'm sorry, organization does not include team to me. Yeah, players. Players. players They're under contract. Own. Yes. Players are part of a roster, not under the organization. Like, Personally, like if I had to talk about anybody that's on my crap list, like in like say like I don't like Chicago, I I'm okay with their team. I don't care for Pat. Oh, was it uh Pat? Uh, was it his name? Jonathan Tays after getting a dirty hit on uh, one of our guys and getting away scot free with it. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna poo poo that every time because that's not good hockey. Yeah, that's just what we're trying to say is. If the game doesn't police itself, then who's going to do it? The team because apparently players. player safety, and yes, we're talking about you now. What a joke you are. Your head of player safety is George Peros, one of the biggest goons to ever play the game, and he will even tell you how important fighting is to hockey. Mm -hmm. And he's the director of player safety. And he has been knocked out and carted off mm -hmm. twice. And he'd do it again in a heartbeat. Also, so many former goons as officials now, too. Yeah. That's the thing, because they can spot this stuff. That's one of the reasons why they're picked to do it. And, they can see it. and, and the, the other part of that is... You're um, not going to mess with them. Yeah. However, we do want a referee fight, so somebody make that just, happen. Just throw the whistles down and go. <laughs> make a call that, you know, will get, like light up the other... They'll light up the other linesman and just like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. The helmet. He was off. He was on. He was off. He was on. Let's drop the whistles. They just start blowing whistles at each other. <laughs> it's, a, it's just, yeah, they don't drop the whistles. It's literally a fight. Like, who can whistle louder? Yeah. <laughs> As they're doing this, they're just blowing. They're not They're not throwing punches. They're just throwing whistles. Like, they're throwing toots. That'd be funny. Uh, see, we, we joke, but this is serious because... In, like we said, in this game, it's the only game in pro sports that polices itself. In baseball, if you make a bad pitch, the next time your guys are up to bat and you hit somebody, 
Yeah. The next time you're up to bat, your star comes up, he's getting thrown at. Baseball polices itself in that manner. Yep. But that's the only instance. You don't see it in basketball, period. Unless you run our test. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Like, um, uh, you know, you don't see it too much in football. No. Unless you're Garrett. You just have a uh, lot of aggression Miles in Garrett. football. That's you it. You don't see it in my, uh, unless you're Miles Garrett. Uh, yeah. Um, and then you have, you don't see it at all in soccer. Uh, you see them mouthing at each other. You yeah, you see, see mouthing, but you don't really see much fighting. I don't want to say that. Like, I don't see much fighting. No, I see the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. but they do that all game anyway. Yeah, there's a couple of scuffles through where they push back or anything like that. But, like I said, this is all about sports, and we try to keep sports pure. Um, so, like I said, this has been our fighting editorial. I don't think we got much more on fighting. No, I'm um, all for it. That's all, like, if we want to do a final thought on it, like, there's no reason to get rid of it. If it, anything... You make it a five-minute major for moving your helmets, so that way the guys are out for ten minutes, mm-hmm. and and that should cut that down. Yeah, because guys aren't gonna want to take those penalties. Because they even like what is it? Uh, it rep- takes less time to wrap your broken knuckles than it does to, to, to get out of yeah. the box. Uh, but yeah, like what is it? Referees now are more quick to jump in on it if helmets come off. Like, but in this case, it didn't. But. And then again, that's what they have the penalty for. Usually when it's a fight and the helmet does come off as a result of a punch or something. Usually they let it go. They, yeah. You, you'd you rather have that. Yeah. But, I mean, I remember playing NHL 20 today. I gave a guy uppercut. Helmet flew kind of halfway across the rink. Yeah. <laughs> well, those, those physics. <laughs> yeah. But, but, yeah. I'm that's all for what we're saying. So, um, we hope you like our, 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 our thoughts on it. Give us yours. Um, yeah, yeah. If what you for, what are you for? Are you against, are you against it? Let us know. Uh, this is from Milwaukee and Nashville. I'm Daniel, and this is Matt. Yeah. We'll see you guys um, Saturday. Saturday. He'll he might see you tomorrow. Florida yeah. plays. Yep. But peace. Take it easy, guys.